Hello and welcome, this is Al from Open Source Channel Welcome again to a new episode on how to Don't forget to follow me on uh, YouTube You can also uh, follow me on uh, Twitter Where you can find my latest tutorials Today I'm going to show you how to install a good software Still open source, still free now, if you use uh, Google Analytics and you are not very happy because you would like to run your own analytics, here we go. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a copy of a PWIC. PWIC is pretty good. It's free. As I said, it's open source. It comes also with uh, Android and iOS uh, apps where you can actually track all the information you need for your websites. You can find all the information on their website on pwick.org and um, you can go to the community part of it where you can find the forum and on the forum you can, um, as you can see, you can find a lot of information there to get started. The first thing you want to do, you want to download the, the latest version. Once you save it, you go to extract it. And once it has been extracted, all you need to do is upload to your server. Now this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to uh, open FileZilla. There we go. You already got that opened. I'm going to drag and drop. I'm going to uh, pause a little bit the video. And I'm going to resume it as soon as that has been done. There we go, everything's been uploaded. Now we're going to open the browser and I'm going to the tab and I'm going to hit refresh. I'm going to click on next. Here is the PHP my admin because you lost, of course, you need to uh, set up a database. I already got one here already installed. It's called Analytics. I'm going to press uh, Next. Don't worry if it's taking a little bit longer. And there we go. Everything looks fine. Every single one is a tick. So, yeah, there's no warnings or errors. And I'm going to uh, press Next and I'm going to insert all the database information. All the information can be found, of course, on uh, the PHP My Admin page or your uh, cPanel, if you are one, or Plesk, you know, whatever you use. I'm going to use the Logins Micro. I already set up that, and I'm once done. I'm going to press Next. There we go. That's the Analytics one. I'm pressing Next. Next again, the table has been created. I'm going to set up a super user. In this case, it's going to be the administration or the admin. Yep. Don't forget to add a very strong password. For this purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use the same word, administration. And of course, because it's a demo, I'm going to untick the, um, the emails things there. Logically, I don't want any spam from uh, Paywick. There we go, that's that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do now, they want to know what is the first website you want to start to track. Of course, I'm, because it's a demo, I'm going to track my own... Uh, website in this case open source channel uk is the domain i'm using for the uh, those trainings i'm going to set up then after that the location of the website in this case it's going to be london if i find one there we go and I'm going to say this in e-commerce just to show you the tab, okay? So I'm going to press next. 
and now I'm going to copy this code. Now I already got a file on the server, on, this, on the root of the actual server, where I have installed the, the PWIC. The file is called .html, just to uh, simulate the, uh, you know, the tracking. Now I'm going to log in with the administration login and password that I set up earlier on. Here you can find the uh, the tracking code that uh, it was shown before. Later on, I'm going to show you where you can actually add more websites. Here we go. This is the code uh, file I was talking about. I'm going to refresh a couple of times. After I do that, I'm going back to the PWIC dashboard. Yes, nearly done there. For the first time, that's what it's going to do. It's going to set up the entire dashboard. That's the reason why it's taking time. Here we go. We are in the dashboard. And as you can see, the tracking system has been set up for you on the dashboard. And as you can see, is one visit and one action. Now I'm going to refresh this page a couple of times. That will make about three times. The entire, you know, the entire of the action. So it's going to be one visit, three actions, as you can see there. I just uh, by mistake, I just refreshed it. But as you can see, it's three actions. He also tells you exactly where the action came from. That will be North American. Clicking on visitors. It's taking a long, a long time to uh, to load. Unfortunately, this, it's not a proper server. It's something I set up on a laptop on the network, and it's, uh, it's a lot of things I'm doing, so that's why it's taking a little bit long to load. But as you can see, nothing wrong with it. It's just taking time. E commerce, over here you can see all the information. Logically, you need to set up. It more or less works like, uh, you know, the analytics from uh, Google. The difference is you're running your own server for that. Again, I'm going to show you the community forum from the PWIC website on pwic.org. Now, if I go and let's see, I'm going to go back to the dashboard on all websites here on the top right. Once loaded, and you can see that's the analytics one I just done earlier on. Here, by clicking the add new website, you can add the new URL you want to start to track. Here are all the information. For any help, any other, you know, any other issue, the best thing to do is to go to the pweek.org website, the community side of it, and consult, you know, look into forum. Over there, you can ask any kind of questions related to the actual software. I'm going to close this up now. Here we are. This is the code. Before I stop it, what I'm going to do, download it back again to my desktop. I'm right click, open it up. Here you see the code that you've seen in the beginning of the installation. Um, sorry, the beginning of the part of the, the dashboard of the, the PWIC analytics. Go back to the browser. And there we go. Don't forget to follow me. Uh, like if you love the videos. Dislike if you don't. Share as much as you can. That's the only way you can actually help me. And if you want to help me even further, you can. Uh, what you can do is uh, buy from Amazon links that I post below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.